We recently covered eight war movies you probably haven't seen but should definitely watch. If you didn't catch it, you'll find a link to it in the description below. While the Hollywood treatment of war can be entertaining, they're usually totally unrealistic. So with that in mind, we've decided to take a look at eight documentaries which powerfully capture the true nature of war. In the description below, you'll find a link to the films and series listed, so make sure you check them out. Remember to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment if there's a documentary you would recommend. But now, it's time for our list. In 1969, a group of ex-British servicemen fought a secret war in a small Middle Eastern country. Operation Oman tells the story of the men who fought, often alone and without logistical support, in the deserts of Oman. At a time when the world's eyes were focused on Vietnam, the war in Oman gained little press attention. However, if the tiny Gulf state had fallen to the Chinese-backed insurgents, control of the strategically important Straits of Hormuz would pass into communist hands, severely destabilising the already chaotic world. Operation Oman plays out in a subtle way, with interviews from those who fought. They describe the battles, the tactics and the camaraderie of those they fought with. Overall, this is a brilliant and insightful documentary which covers a little known war. You can catch it on Amazon Prime Video. The Sultan had to go. Somebody who was attracted to the Sultan's armed forces wasn't going there for the money. He was going there for the adventure. We all had one thing in common. We had to train a company and we had to fight for the company. But if you were captured, you didn't expect to survive. The idea was to tell the locals, we're coming onto the mountain, we're going to stay on the mountain, and we're going to make the mountains safe for you. Another gem on Amazon Prime is the documentary Thud Pilots. This is edge of your seat stuff covering the air war over Vietnam. This documentary contains first-hand accounts from the F-105 pilots, along with incredible combat footage, reconstructions and concise narration of the geopolitics involved. Thud Pilots is a detailed examination and historical account of the American pilots who flew the deadliest missions of the Vietnam War. A red storm was rising on the horizon, far off in the once French colony of Indochina. Everybody was busy getting shot down, and little did I know that I was going to get to do it not once, but twice. His radio was really weak, so I had to be close to hear him at all. I started an approach to where I thought he was, and as I got close to the treetops, he said, no, no, go away, go away, they've got me, and I did. And that, that bothers me now. Our next recommendation is back to more familiar territory for the war documentary genre, namely World War II. Hang Tough honours the leader of Easy Company, Richard D. Winters. The exploits of Winters and Easy Company were made famous by the TV miniseries Band of Brothers. This documentary is narrated by Damien Lewis, the Emmy award-winning actor who played Winters in the Band of Brothers series. Dick Winters was, a, was a, a great leader. I don't think he had an enemy. I think even the Germans must have liked him. Richard D. Winters had proven his abilities to lead men in combat. The words, hang tough, became a frequent E Company saying, used by many of the men. The words symbolize more than just being strong. They meant be prepared, always think about your options, stay one step ahead. All are the principles that define Dick Winters as a combat leader. Panzer Ace. No list would be complete without some tank action. And this intriguing documentary aims to solve one of the biggest mysteries of World War II who killed the legendary German tank ace, Michael Wittmann. This 40-minute documentary tackles the mystery with a mix of combat photos, CGI reconstruction, and archaeological examination of the battlefield where Wittmann fought his final battle against the Allies. The countryside is littered with fragments from the mighty tank battles of the summer of 1944. This particular field, though, is special. 
It is the final battlefield of Germany's greatest panzer ace, Michael Whitman. Also known as the Black Baron, he destroyed 168 tanks in his career and became a hero of the Third Reich. Killed here on August 8, 1944, controversy still surrounds his death. Specifically, who fired the shot that claimed his life? Military historian Norm Christie and his team have come to Normandy to re-examine the evidence and determine once and for all who killed Michael Whitman. We're back in the skies for our next recommendation, and this is a fascinating aerial documentary. In 1982, Argentina invaded the Falklands. As Britain readied a task force to retake the island, it became clear that the RAF would need to destroy the island's only runway before the British ships arrived, denying the Argentine Air Force a vital base from which it could launch attacks on the approaching Royal Navy. This is the untold story of the most daring bombing raid since the Dam Busters. Almost a one-way ticket. I didn't really see how we could survive it. The RAF's opening attack of the Falklands War, designed to strike terror into the hearts of the Argentinians. It was a secret, but very British mission. Monty Python couldn't have done it any better. The plan is, that this vast armada flies to the first refueling point. Half the victors refuel the other half, one victor refuels the Vulcan, and then those aircraft return to base. The procedure is repeated at the next refueling point, and again, until there's just one victor left to refuel the Vulcan before its final run into the target. And it was really a question of victors refueling, victors refueling, victors refueling, and it went on and on and on. And all the time, the formation was being reduced as one victor had given all its fuel and had to go back to Ascension. We had never seen anything like this refueling plan. The real unknown was just how much fuel that Vulcan is going to burn. We used the best information we had, but we had a, a horrible nagging feeling that it might not be good enough. Hunting Isis is one of the most powerful documentaries on the list. It contains disturbing footage and at times is challenging to watch. The six part series follows a group of Western volunteers not content to sit back and watch Isis destroy the Middle East. Early episodes focus on medics Pete and Derek and the pair get dangerously close to the front lines during a battle to push ISIS from a town outside of Mosul. In later episodes, the viewers get to see the tragic human cost of the struggle against ISIS and the long bouts of boredom that intersperse moments of intense action. There's a lot of waiting, like 90% of the time is just waiting. What are we doing today? So can I see that <laughs> grenade or not? <laughs> you have to find it first. <laughs> oh, look, a grenade. <laughs> what do you know? Wow. You like to repair with Do me a favor and straighten it. What? <laughs> <laughs> My forearm's getting really tired right now, guys. <laughs> Medal of Honor focuses on the stories of U.S. soldiers across multiple conflicts who have been awarded the Medal of Honor. America's highest military decoration. Combat footage, reconstructions, and interviews with military experts highlight the bravery of soldiers from World War II and Korea through to modern day conflicts in Afghanistan. It is the ultimate form of recognition for courage on the battlefield. Anybody who receives it is immediately hailed as a hero like none other. It has to be witnessed, and people have to write reports about why this person deserves it. After leading the dramatic raid to free the hostages at Entebbe, Yonatan Netanyahu becomes the mission's most tragic casualty. With his death, he became a hero in Israel and around the world. Follow Me is an intimate journey into a young hero's mind. The narration for this compelling documentary came from the soldiers' own letters and words. Follow Me features interviews with three Israeli Prime Ministers, Yanni's ex-wife, and recently released audio from the Entebbe operation. Yanni. 
beloved, I believe with all my heart that it's extremely important that I be in the army now. We hear the war slogans of millions of our neighbors and their desire to annihilate us. Yoni and the officer who's sitting behind them are shooting at the guards. All of a sudden, from quiet, we go into full combat mode. Surprise is over. Yoni shouts, move, 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 don't stop. He was moving ahead, making all of us follow him. I must feel certain that not only at the moment of my death shall I be able to account for the time I have lived. I ought to be ready at every moment of my life to confront myself and say, this is what I've done. <laughs>